Hello, my name is Steve O.C. and thank you for joining me as I unbox my Microtik HAP Mini. This is a brand new router for me, I only got it a couple of days ago and this is also the first time I'm doing an unboxing video so I do apologise for any mistakes that I make during this video or bits of information which you want me to go over and I miss out. I promise not to play any stupid club music over the top of this and I will try and keep it as informative as I can. So the Hat Mini is listed on Microtik's website as the RB931-2ND. It gives some small bits of information about what the router actually is and, and its physical dimensions. Um, the notable parts on this are is that it's a single core CPU. It is a Routeros level 4, so it can pretty much do everything you need it to do. Its suggested retail price is $19.95, otherwise known as 20 quid. And the power mechanism on this router is only actually 5 volt. Most Microtik devices are 24 volt, uh, usually, ranging between 10 and 57, but this particular unit is only 5 volt input. You can also see that it is a dual chain, not dual band, Wi-Fi chip, with antenna gain of 1.5 dB. There are also some wireless specifications further down, and it does mention that there are three Ethernet ports on the router. Also included with the device is a 5 volt 1 amp power adapter, which we will be provided depending on what part of what country you come from and what your plug sockets are like. So here is my router. The first thing I'm going to open is going to be the power supply. This is relatively boring, and as you would imagine, because I live in the UK, it is a 3-pin UK plug to USB adapter. This looks a bit like a normal Android phone charger cable like you'd get with a Samsung or similar. So I'm going to pop this to one side because this is no longer needed. The actual router itself is just here in Microtik's normal packaging. On the outside of the box there is the normal model number with router board number. The type that it's international, plug non because it's, it's provided by the, um, by the distributor and the standard instructions which come with pretty much every Microtik unit. We're going to go and open this up now. Now I will own up at this point. I have actually opened the box to make sure the router is in there but I haven't actually removed anything. So opening it up we have the normal instructions telling you how to do stuff with it and we have the router itself. Box is empty, box can go to one side. So this is the router. As you can see, judging by the scale against my hands, it is very, very, very small. And just for some kind of comparison, here is an iPhone. As you can see, the router is extremely diminutive in its size. However, that doesn't take away from the fact that this is a fairly quality router board. Now, on the back of the router, we have three Ethernet ports. One WAN, which is labelled as Internet, it doesn't have to be WAN, but it, it probably would be best as that. And then two LAN ports, each of which has an indicator LED along the top to show that there's link, as well as the power socket just there. Turning the route around, there isn't a lot on it. There is the shiny finish, which I'm not a massive fan on, to be fair. And on the front of the router, there isn't a lot going on. It's quite plain, it's quite solid. The stand that comes with the router is removable and we can put that down to one side and the router will happily sit on that stand like so. On the bottom of the router there are a few buttons which I will try and get into focus for you. There we go, no. No, it's not going to focus. There we go. So there is a mode button, which to my knowledge will turn the lights off, or it can be scripted to do other things in the future. And there is also a reset button, which is great if you're trying to put it into caps mode, or if you just want to do a full hard factory reset on the unit. I'm really looking forward to configuring my new router up for travel use. 
please do keep an eye on my YouTube channel. I will be doing a tutorial video shortly on how to get the very best from this kind of device which can also be applied to other smaller CPU instances in getting the best possible throughput you can from these things. Also, it will give some idea on just basic configuration and also efficiencies you can make to the standard config. If you liked the unboxing video, please hit the like button below. Otherwise, please do feel free to leave a comment. I always take constructive criticism on board when I can. And also, if you'd like to see more videos like this of unboxing Microtik products, hit the subscribe button. I am trying to increase the amount of tutorial videos I'm doing. As I've already mentioned, I will be doing one very soon on efficiencies you can make on low-level CPU devices. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Steve OC, and hopefully this will inspire you to go and buy one of these nice, cheap 20-quid units and have some fun yourself.